Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. While you're here make sure you click like and subscribe down below. And a very warm welcome back of course to all of our bronze, silver and gold frequent flyers. Now this is going to be a really short video just talking about some of the latest features that Navagraph have introduced with their nav data and also their Simbrief platform as well because as we all know quite a few months ago now Simbrief was bought out by Navagraph. So Head to the Navigraph Nav Data Center for those of you with a subscription. I've got the annual Ultimate subscription, uh, as most of you know. And you want to update your in-game panel if you want to use that. Uh, but more importantly, the AIRAC Cycle 2109, uh, or September 2021. And of course, if you have the Aerosoft CRJ, update the Nav Data within that too, should you wish. Then head to Simbrief. And uh, as we all know, of course, at the very top of the screen, you want to make sure your AIRAC cycle is up to date and it, you'll know if it's not because it won't say 2109 and it will say outdated here in a big red box instead of as it shows here 2109 dash current in green. Now I'm preparing for a PMDG DC6 flight with the channel livery and the Osprey channel call sign from Rijeka to Innsbruck. Now being the DC-6 it's a really old aeroplane and I don't necessarily like to use the GPS stuff that you can get inside the aircraft. Uh, I like the conventional navigation side of things with this and of course for those of you that like general aviation as well in light aircraft this is equally as important to you guys too so I hope you all find it really useful. It's a short sweet little tip that I want to share with you all. Now the route itself I'm going to be using VOR navigation or NDB navigation um, only. Um, there's no waypoints or anything like that and you can see here I've got an initial route that I've put in for those of you on discord will have probably seen it in preparation of this stream now they've introduced Navigraph have introduced some brand new features within Simbrief itself which everybody can enjoy no matter what air act cycle you're on so even if you don't have a Navigraph paid for subscription you can use this new feature and it lies within route finder now there's two things you need to bear in mind for this. You need to know what cruise altitude you're going to want to be at and also what type of route you want to be at. So we can open it and expand it here and we can estimate the altitude to be 16,000 with a true airspeed on, for example, there 272 knots. If you're on nat track, you could use those nat tracks if you're going oceanic. However, um, what we want to focus on here is route type, a new feature here. Okay, so Click the drop down and you'll get a couple of options here and you want to select for things like VOR routes which of course is what we want in this instance dotted along tracking all these different little VORs on the way we want to then select VOR only and this is a new feature hit find route and it will work it's magic and it will go oh I suggest this is a good one to keep the VORs in range and that way we should in theory have um, a number of VORs throughout the entire journey that we can track. Now one of the new features with this is that within the nav data, Navigraph have increased um, the accuracy of all of the navigational services like VORs and NDBs. And uh, what they've done is they've fine tuned all of them around the world to work um, with the correct ranges that they would ordinarily in the real world as well. So when we're simulating these VOR flights or NDB routes, uh, anything like that for conventional navigation, all of these VORs now across every aircraft we use should have the correct range as well which is a really good little feature from them and as you can see here it's given us um, four different VORs for the route which is really cool and there's a couple of suggested other options here as well so let's have a little look at these there's another one there and interestingly, uh, for those of you on Discord, you'll know that I've also planned a different type of route, which is this one. So we can go ahead and yeah, we can tweak and refresh things as we go, depending on what we want to get out of Simbrief itself. We can analyse that route, and there it goes. There, a little bit longer, but I wanted to go and enjoy the Alps for this particular route itself. So there we go, guys. VOR only routes available to be used and enjoyed using Simbrief. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Of course, if you want to grab yourself a 
Navagraph subscription, then head to Navagraph.com to sign up. I can really recommend the annual package. It's not only cheaper, uh, but the ultimate subscription gives you nav data, charts, uh, all the stuff, basically everything that you could uh, wish for navigational purposes within simulating. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and check out my live stream schedule while you're here. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching.